Just like that. Microwave a can of something, that's how I cook. Oh, so that was like a big uh, grad graduation there. Graduated to something. Rotisserie pork, I've never done rotisserie pork, I don't think. scared of messing up and real-time facial expressions moments of silence contemplation of what now um, do you mean like with your cooking process or with like chatting and stuff work has wrapped up enjoying a, another super windy day Woohoo! awesome uh, I lived in North Carolina for a while and they use pork at Christmas and Thanksgiving instead of turkey interesting I could see it at Christmas. I think Thanksgiving would feel weird to me. Uh, okay, next. I'm just gonna keep going because we're over time a little bit. After the ricotta, risotto, ricotta, top with the mozzarella cheese. So we need another third of the cheese. And I'm gonna save maybe a little extra for the top because I want it really cheesy. Thanksgiving turkey and waffles. That sounds good, actually. I guess just because of my nervous personality. So I will tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I did not feel like I could do this when I started, but I was like, I'm gonna try it. I did not see myself as like a YouTuber or like somebody who would do well on camera. And I kind of still feel that way, but I just feel comfortable now. So yeah, I'm, I, I get stressed out, I get anxious and I just like, planned out my schedule so I write almost every 15 minutes like what is going to be next so I like plot out what my time is going to be like and then just like go easy on yourself expect to make mistakes and you'll start getting a community of people that like come around you and like you for your personality and for what you bring to the table so don't worry about being like super professional or like not nervous you're going to be nervous at first like i listened to streams that i did when i first started and i have a different voice because i was like i was nervous and like inexperienced and now i'm just like i just talk like myself now so you're gonna be nervous you're gonna make mistakes but that's like you have to go through that <laughs> okay okay what in the world why? Why right now? <laughs> hey, Buzz. Thank you. I am pretty excited about this. I'm pretty excited about all the cheese, to be honest. Oh my goodness, that song. She likes me. 
for me, not because I hang with. Is it Leonardo? Da, 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 da. Oh man, I can't remember the words now. I'm gonna do a little bit more cheese. I'm trying to save like almost a whole bag for the top because I want. I just want like. I want to bite through a brick of melted cheese. I'm just kidding, but kind of. We haven't gotten to the top layer yet. Or have we? Wait, is this the top layer? Wait a second. Did I do this right or did I do this wrong? I may have. No, this is right. Wait. Hold on, let me read it again. Top of the blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, it's having me save that amount of cheese. Oh no, we're good, okay. <laughs> so, we get to just do this. We're just going for it. Oh, and FYI, um, I have learned, uh, as I've been cooking on Twitch, that, at least for my channel, it's the community that's the best part. So the cooking for me is kind of like the background while I get to talk to the people. So that's like the fun part for me. I enjoy having yummy food, but my favorite part is talking to the people. And so if you emphasize that more, it doesn't feel like as much pressure. If you're like a chef and you're trying to show people how to be professional, I could see there being a little bit more pressure, but like probably most of the people watching you are not chefs or professional. And even if they are, they're probably not going to expect you to be at their level if you aren't. So it's just like we put pressure on ourselves to be great and you don't have to be great. You can be, you can learn to be great. You don't have to be great right away. Do I claim that? I'm not sure if I